Alright guys, we're going to look at some basic arm swings. In the Chinese martial arts, there's a lot of emphasis placed on developing a, a proper body mechanic that's just as important as the tactics and things that go along with it. And so for starters, you can have your feet about shoulder width apart. You want your toes facing straight and make sure the knees stay over the toes at all times. We don't want any wobbly knees. I'm moving from my hips and my upper body. I want to relax my arms as much as possible. Have you ever seen the second Karate Kid and they had that little drum, right, with the relaxed thing that they spun around? You want to make your arms just like uh, just as if there was a little weight attached to the end of a string. That's kind of the feeling you want to have. And I start by swinging my arms around. Simply relax and it's important to allow the joints to find their way around and to roll through. This is going to strengthen all of the tendons and connective tissue, but it won't do that if we're uh, reaching a point where we reach our limit. We don't want to stress the joint at all. I simply want my arm to be relaxed. I want to stay upright and turn as I roll all the way through this and I let my arm wrap all the way around my body. If I stop moving, my arms are just dead weight. If you guys want to get a little bit more uh, crazy with it, you can take a wider stance, take more of a horse stance, and you can shift weight to throw those arms around. Just keep them relaxed, keep the body upright, and keep these moving. And that's the first exercise. Um, it can be done light, and then you can pick up the pace if you want. Now, second exercise is going to be here. Actually, excuse me, I'll go back to here moving the arms this direction. Now I'm trying a more of a vertical swing from the side. It turns and my arms simply come up. I want to get the body used to throwing the arms in a relaxed fashion. One, two, one, two. This way, if I stop, my arms stop. A couple of quick little applications for this idea. If my arms are relaxed and I can throw, I'm throwing from my core and I'm almost going to be a little bit stronger. So those techniques we talked about earlier, I can swing through right this whole direction or using more of a vertical circle I can fire and come back around big circles do work a lot of people have a problem with them but if I've got a hold of him I have all the time I need to swing that arm out to swing around you can use it to get in for throws or do anything else you want with it all right thank at, you. Uh, other variations of arm swings and again the purpose is uh, I want to begin developing my body and relaxing my arms so that I throw more from my body in my stance and, and don't have to just rely on this kind of force and so the first exercise is, is on a horizontal plane. I'll demo it real quick. From the side. Now, when I do this, I'm pulling very slightly through my body and it's important I make contact the entire way through. As if I was throwing a ball and I'm cupping and following my entire arm and throwing from one side to the other. And then this side, I want it as relaxed as possible to wrap the back. Again, never let your joints lock out or go to the, the limits of your motion. Your body needs to learn to relax and move around itself. One, two, I don't turn as much on this one. The next two are exactly the same thing, but they're on a horizontal plane. So I want to relax and throw down this way. And so I'll make kind of a U in front of my body. This direction, this direction. I let my arms simply relax and swing through, and I maintain contact the entire way. It's vitally important that my hands pass and maintain from shoulder to fingertip and back again. And the third one is coming up. This way. Throw upwards. There. So real quick. One. Two. Throwing down and three, reversing and throwing up. Simply relaxing, strengthening the shoulders, the tendons, everything in the arm. And I'll be back next time to demonstrate some practical applications. We're looking at some of the um, applications to these relaxed arm swings and this type of energy, okay? And so if Travis is here, there's a lot of different ways we can do this, but just to give a couple of basic examples. If he's throwing a hook and I wanna move in and unite with this, I may or may not strike coming into the middle, but the main thing is, is that I wanna move past this point and unite. Now, I don't necessarily always wanna stay here with someone this big. In fact, I don't wanna to stay to the inside most of the time at all. So when he throws this hook and comes in, I can pass this arm, move around to the outside, I can collapse the knee, go for the head. I can just run away having created that. And so that's based off these exercises where I'm passing. It's to give me that ability to merge with him and pass that arm and then just go into, you know, any of the different things that you want to do, you can do. If he comes overhead, it's the same thing. I can meet that. Now, I never, ever try to oppose force. I just, I just don't do it. When he comes overhead, I'm going to roll with that and I can come in and do different things. I can strike. If he comes in overhead and I don't want to stay there, I can go on this direction. 
And so, but the whole idea is that I'm meeting and passing with my arms. I don't want to have to reach for this moving target in space. If he's attached to me, I can slide up my own arm to get there, or I can continue passing from one arm to the other. And that's what those drills are supposed to teach. This is not exclusive to this. I can also use this if I'm here in the clinch. One of my favorite moves is an arm, uh, basically an arm drag in wrestling, right? Where I come and I move that arm to the outside. If I do it properly, it's going to take his balance for a second and get me the angle that I need to follow up. You know the best place to be in a fight is right there, okay? And so one, one more from here, I'll do it from this side. If I can come over or under, it doesn't really matter. As long as I'm passing that arm, getting to the outside, I'm at a point to where I can take his balance. Does that make sense? And so that's what these are for, is to develop that ability to pass those arms in a smooth fashion so I don't have to oppose his force, which is bigger and stronger than me.